Hi everyone, this is Christian from Universal Retail Systems with another helpful guide. This video will cover everything about POU programming on the ER900 series cash register. This video will be a lengthy one, so timestamps will be included in the description. Let's get started by turning the key to the P position. From here, we will enter the programming menu. Here we can program if the POU will be an open, preset, or an active item. We can also program which tax will be applied or if it is food stampable, or if it is a hash item or negative item. Enter 1, 0, 0, subtotal to enter the PLU status group programming. Press a key or scan, or enter the number then press PLU. Now for the tricky part. We must refer to the manual or the example to look on the screen. This will be a bit time consuming learning the first time. Let's look at the POU status chart that can be found between pages 125 and 127. There will be some questions and all you have to do is find the sum of that group. For example, when POU is preset is yes, then we will have zero. When POU is override is yes, then we will have zero. Finally, if POU is taxable, then we would add four, bringing our total to four. That will be what we put in the N1 section. Repeat this an additional eight times if these options apply to you. But what usually happens is that these options are left as zero, giving us a code of four. Zero, 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 zero. From here, we can press X time to confirm the change and press cache to finalize. Now moving on to groups. In the PGM position, enter one, five, zero, and then press subtotal. Scan the POU or press the key on the keyboard. Now enter the group number that the POU you selected will be a part of. Enter 10 for group 1 or 04 for group 4. Once you are done, press X time. Depending on your programming, the number of groups you might select will vary. Once you are done, you can press X time. Once the item is in the right group, you can press cache to finalize. Next will be POU price programming. This section will be rather simple. Select the POU of choice, as mentioned in the other sections. Then simply enter the price. Once you are done, press X time, then press cache. POU descriptor programming requires a code book for the raised keyboard. On your screen will be codes along with which letter they represent. To get to the descriptor programming, enter 300 subtotal. Then enter the POU. Now we will enter the codes or type out the name. We are limited to 14 characters for the description, so use them wisely. Once we are done, press on the X time button. After that, press on cache to finalize you will get a receipt printout that shows that the changes have been made. Now, as an example, I can now go to register mode then select 89 POU and we'll see my POU that we created. In order to delete a POU, enter 400 while on the programming screen and then select the POU you want to delete. When you are done, press the X time button. Then, press the cache button. From here, your POU will be deleted. Please be careful, as there is no way to get it back once it's deleted.